Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. Welcome back to the second video in the rotational motion series. This one's about radians. So today we're going to talk about what are radians and why do we use them in physics and a look at some simple calculations using radians. So radians you might have come across before are similar to degrees in measuring angles. Whereas we have 360 degrees in a circle, we have two pi radians and 2 times pi is 6.28 radians in a circle. 2 pi radians in one complete circle. So 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. Therefore, if you simplify that, 180 degrees is pi radians. Now, if you can remember that, 360 degrees, one full circle is 2 pi radians, you can complete most calculations um, without having to remember any formula. Why are there 2 pi radians in a circle? So on the right here, I've got a, a picture of a circle, and I've got the radius uh, pictured. If you take that radius and then uh, place it around the outside of the circle, so like an arc, like I have here, how many radiuses can we fit around the circle? So that's one radius there, and I'll put another one. So now I've got two radiuses so far around the circle. I can fit at least three, four, five. It looks like I can fit six, six and a bit. So it turns out the exact number is 6.28 radiuses around one circle. And if you say that in terms of pi, instead of saying 6.28, you say 2 pi radiuses around a circle, and that's where the word radians comes from. It's how many radiuses you can fit around that circle. So there's 2 pi radians in a circle. So why are we going to use them? Let's think about this uh, picture of a uh, merry-go-round here. And... Um, think about it rotating a quarter of the time, uh, a quarter of a circle, or a quarter of a rotation. So we can express that in rotations. We could express that in degrees. A quarter of a rotation is 90 degrees. Or we can express this in radians. A full circle is 2 pi radians. A half circle is pi radians. So a quarter circle is pi over 2 uh, radians. We can then ask a question. The, the girl on the left hand side here, if she has gone around a quarter of a rotation, what distance has she traveled? So to work out the distance using rotations, we'd have to say, well, if she went a full way around a circle, that would be 2 pi r, because that's the circumference of a circle, but she's only gone a quarter, so we times it by quarter. That's the process would go to work out what distance she traveled if we're dealing with rotations. If we were dealing with degrees, We'd do the same thing in that we'd say, well, a full circle is 2 pi r. That's the circumference of a circle. And then we'd times this by 90 degrees. That's how much she's gone round, divided by 360, because that's as a fraction of a full circle. So 90 over 360, hopefully you'll recognize as equivalent to 1 over 4. If we were to do this using radians, the same process, we'd say, well, 2 pi r is one full circle. And she's gone pi over 2 radians around it. That's a quarter of a circle. And a quarter, uh, sorry, pi over 2 as a fraction of a full circle, which is 2 pi. So again, if you, two, uh, pi over 2 divided by 2 pi, that simplifies down to a quarter, just like the rest of them. But here's the difference with radians. Because we've got the 2 pi on the bottom here, and we have a 2 pi on the left-hand side here, the 2 pi's cancel out, and you're left with r times our radians that we have to start with. So we end up getting a simple formula, which is just r, the radius, times how many radians, which is pi over 2 in this case. And this is why we use radians. Using radians simplifies many of our calculations in rotational motion. And this was an example, but it goes right the way through to rotational velocity and acceleration. So once again, if we were to work out the distance that the red jacket girl had traveled, using rotations, we'd have a formula that looked like 2 pi r times the fraction of the rotation. Using degrees, it would be 2 pi r times... How many degrees divided by 360? But our simplified formula for radians is just r times that radians. So it becomes much more simple. So we know one rotation is uh, 2 pi radians, and the formula that we came up with before, the distance that the red jacket girl had traveled, was equal to um, radius times how many radians it is. And so this is a formula given to you in the formula sheet that you can use. And the last thing is that radians are unitless. Whereas we measure distance in meters and time in seconds, and you would write down, it's gone pi over 2 radians, but radians is a unitless 
um, unit. So what that means is in the case where we were timesing two numbers here, say the radius, say four meters times by however many radians, we still get an answer in meters because the radians are ignored in the calculation. So that's another reason why it's very useful to use radians. So this has just been a very quick introduction into radians. The main part we need to take out of it is that radians are an easier form for calculations when we have rotation and motion, and I showed that to you today. And the last thing I want you to remember is that, as always, there's two pi radians in one complete circle. If you can remember that, you can do most calculations moving forward.